Hi there, welcome to our demo session on how to configure admin tab settings in GG Self Service Password Reset Suit. In the admin web, you can configure administrative settings, create self service policy for user enrollment, generate and schedule reports for GG Self Service Password Reset Suit. Now, in the admin tab, you can notice the settings used to manage self-service password reset, which are as follows. Enable disable features is used to enable or disable the password reset, password change, account and lock and self-update operations of the self-service user. Language settings is used to configure the language to be shown in the self-service page. Notification settings is used to decide when to send the email notifications. Invite users setting is used to invite users to enroll to GG Self Service Password Reset Suit. Search user settings is used to configure selected attributes to be shown in the search result. Using agent installation, self service users can reset their password from their logon screen. Auto unenroll users is used to unenroll users in bulk from the AD objects or selected policy. Mail server settings should be configured properly for proper sending of email notifications to users and managers. Exclude AD objects from reports is used to generate accurate report by excluding obsolete information like service accounts, disabled users and users need not be reported from displaying in the report and chart. Pass through authentication enables Windows mode of authentication for self-service web page for currently logged on self-service users. Now let's see the settings in detail. In enable disable features, you can enable or disable the enrollment, password reset, password change, unlock and self-update operations of the self-service user. So that self-service users can be prevented in performing certain crucial operations for security reasons. Here, I uncheck the Enable Unlock Account Settings. Now, Unlock feature will be disabled in Self-Service Page. To check the changes, I go to the Self-Service Page and try to unlock in Self-Service User Account. As expected, I am unable to unlock the account. In Language Settings, you can configure the language to be shown in the Self-Service Page. As a result, self-service users can enjoy working in their own language. Here, I select the language as Italiano and go to the self-service user page. Now, you can see the difference in the language. In notification settings, you can send email notification during password reset, enrollment, password change, password expiration to users and to manager if no response from the user. Here, I enable the settings to send email notification during password reset. In mail configuration, I select the required language, enter the subject and mail text. Here, I use SAM account name to display the user logon name. You can also use the custom formats in the mail text, such as expiration date for password expiration date of the user. Soon to expire for number of days left for the Password to expire. Manager name for name of the manager and new password for new password of the user. Moreover, you can also use the Active Directory values in the mail by using this format. Now, let us invite users to enroll to our application. It is because only enrolled users can reset their password or unlock their account. Here, we have two options. To select the users, either by policy or by Active Directory objects. Here, I invite users present in the test policy. Then in the mail configuration settings, in order to invite the self-service users to enroll themselves in the self-service web page. I enter the self-service web page URL and save the changes. Finally, I select all these users and press invite to send the invitation. Search user settings is used to configure selected attributes to be shown in the search result. 
Here, you can add an attribute to selected attributes. Also remove the selected attributes, edit the attributes and delete the attributes. You can also add your required Active Directory attribute. Agent installation is used to install or uninstall log on client setup in domain clients. As a result, self-service users can reset their password from their log on screen. Supported clients are Windows XP, both 32 and 64 bit versions of Windows Vista and Windows 7. Here, I select 32-bit version of Vista or Windows 7 client setup, then press install. Now, I browse the domain and select a Windows 7 client, provide the privileged user credentials, then I press proceed. To get the installation status, click update status. To complete the installation, again enter the user credentials and press proceed. Now the Windows 7 client setup is successfully installed. Now. The self-service user can view the password reset page at the log on screen of the client and can reset their password. You can also download the setup from here. Using this setting, obsolete users such as service accounts and disabled users can be unenrolled in bulk. As a result, new users can enroll by reusing the existing license. Here. Admin have two options to unenroll the users, that is, either by policy or by Active Directory objects. Now, I select users under Test Policy and click Unenroll. As a result, the self-service users are unenrolled successfully. Mail server settings should be configured properly for proper sending of email notifications. In the mail server settings, provide the mail server name, port address email address of the user, and password. Then press Save. To test the settings, press Test Connection. This test will fail if your firewall or antivirus software block the SMTP port. Exclude AD objects from reports is used to generate accurate report by excluding obsolete information like service accounts, disabled users, and users need not be reported from displaying in the report and chart. Before kick off, let's go to Reports tab. Now, I click the Enabled Users Report. As a result, you can see the detailed report showing the user information. Similarly, in the Home page, note the user availability in the Enable Disabled Users chart. Let's start. Now I go to Admin tab. Then, in the Exclude Object section, I select the object scope as user end. Select some specific users to exclude and press save. As a result, these selected users will be now excluded from the chart and report. First, I go to the home page. In that, carefully view the enable disabled users chart to get the current chooser status. Now, I press refresh chart. Now, you can find the updated information in the enabled users portion. And I press it to get the detailed enabled users report in the reports tab. Now, you can clearly find that some user information missing after excluding the users. Finally, we have pass-through authentication which enables Windows mode of authentication for self-service web page by using the credentials of the currently logged in self-service users. To enable this feature, go to this path and run this configuration file. Now. A wizard appears, in which select, pass through authentication, and check, enable Windows mode of authentication. Now, I type the URL of the, self-service user page and, press enter. Thus, by enabling this feature, currently logged on self-service user can, bypass the self-service credentials. We feel happy, in providing you the demo on, configuring admin tab settings in, GG self-service password reset suit. For queries feel free to contact us at support at ggtechnologies.com. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.